نتمنى لكم باش تعتذروا علينا شويه التاخير ولهذا التقديم اللي ماشي هو التقديم اللي كنا بغينا نبداو ولكن مع السرعه ويلا بدينا غير هذا الاسبوع والحقيقه كنا مشغولين هذا الاسبوع مع المفاوضات مع المدربين واولهم من المدرب اللي وقعنا معاه اذا كنوعدكم باش ان شاء الله تصبروا عندنا واحد 15 يوم وغتلقاو ان شاء الله تقديمات على المستوى ديال الفريق اللي كنبدلو وفي المستوى اللي بغينا نشوفوه ان شاء الله دونك كوتش عرفتو بين ما مكيتكلمش مزال العربية ولا الفرنساوية ولكن غنحاولو نترجمو واللي خصكم تعرفو انه اول حاجة اللي لحا بها انه في الكونطرا ديالو النادي غادي يخلص ليه الاستاذ باش يتعلم اللغة العربية As I told them that uh, in your contact you insist to have a teacher for uh, teaching you Arabic yes, yes, and yes, yes. will support you in uh, learning Arabic. Thank Shabbat. you very much, Donc, I'm going to give you the word for the word. If you have any questions, I'm very, very happy to see you here. Welcome again from Thank me you. and from all the supporters and the Widat family. Thank you, sir. Um, we, we want to speak about a um, lot of things, but uh, around the, the, the video we post and uh, you said many good things about supporters and the club. Yeah. You receive much love from, from the, 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 the supporters. Um, this love, is it, uh, does it change something in your decision? Captain. <laughs> something, huh? <laughs> um, let me first start by greeting members of the media. It's great to be here and thank you for the, for the incredibly warm welcome. Um, but also let me also start by uh, thanking the President, uh, Mr. Hisham, uh, and the entire board. <laughs> I've met so many members of the board, incredible human beings, so warm, so welcoming. And I want to just thank them for for dealing with us in, in such a warm way and uh, for the support and and, uh, and uh, their appreciation because I think uh, immediately after we had found out that I had left Sundowns, I mean it only took uh, the president, the board, a couple of hours to get in contact with, uh, with my agent, whom I also want to thank, uh, Mr. Steve Kapulusnik for an incredible uh, commitment and hard work uh, that he's had to go, go through for the last couple of days. Um, and it's only proper that I also thank my previous clubs, uh, both Mamelodi Sundowns and, uh, and uh, Orlando Pirates, uh, the chairman of, of Sundowns, uh, Mr. Tlopi Mutsipe, the, the president of CAF, because uh, when I was announced as head coach at Sundowns, it was through his blessings, um, Dr. Patrice Motsipe and the Motsipe family, but also to Orlando Pirates and uh, Dr. Koza, uh, Pumi, uh, Pumi Koza and Kosana Koza for, for, for the opportunity that they gave me to coach their clubs. And uh, it is because of, of my education and my background that uh, a, a big club like Widad is, is, has shown incredible interest in my services, which has humbled me big time. And uh, I understand how big a challenge this is. Uh, believe me, I don't come here with my eyes closed. Uh, the negotiations have taken quite a long time because there were quite a few things that we had to agree on. And one thing I, I really appreciate is that the board uh, is as ambitious as I am and uh, have committed themselves to giving us full support to, to wake up a sleeping giant. 
and I think our our work is not to teach the Wydad how to win as a football club. I mean, 22 league titles, uh, three Champions Leagues. I mean, it's a team that knows how to win. Uh, ours is just to come here and remind them of what Wydad stands for. And then when you speak about love, uh, when I did my history on the club, I found out that the word Wydad means love, appreciation, and so. And so the same love and appreciation that I've once felt from the supporters as an opponent, uh, I'm grateful that things have turned and now I receive the same amount of love and maybe even more uh, as I join this incredible family. So, um, yeah, it's, a, it's going to be a very, very difficult task, but I think it's one that uh, the board and also understands how difficult it's going to be. The, the supporters understand how difficult it's going to be. Um, but difficult does not mean impossible. And, and our job is to get this club back to where it, it belongs. And how old were you? Be? Well, I think uh, as a person, um, I put a lot of pressure on myself. And without even speaking to, to the board, to the president, uh, about the objectives. Uh, but I put a lot of pressure on myself and I want to win every single game. I want to I wanna win every game, I want to try to to win every trophy. Uh, in sport it's impossible to win every single game and to win every trophy, but, but you've got to try. And uh, this club has seen many, many, many good years, especially in the 1990s, where they won almost every trophy available, including the Champions League. And um, hopefully we can work together to to put together another strong Wydad side that can uh, dominate not just Moroccan football but, uh, but African football and maybe even even leave a, a global uh, footprint, particularly by participating in the Club World Cup. It's a good question. Um, yes and no. Yes, in the sense that I think they, there's some members of the squad that are still here and uh, of course uh, my experience, and even though I was watching a couple of games already, I've, I've watched uh, a couple of games of uh, the Wydad of uh, last season as compared to the Wydad that we played against uh, the season before in the AFL last season or the year before. And in the Champions League when they knocked us out when I was at Sundowns in the semi-finals. And uh, now I'm one of uh, the 2005 winners and uh, now it's about trying to find the best balance within the team because when I look at the squad I look at the squad and I say uh, based on the last match that I watched which was the 1-0 win at home in the last league game there's, there's still quite a couple of names that I didn't see on the pitch which were names that we played against in the AFL final and um, even now, when I do my research, I see like uh, a player like Jabran is gone, and, uh, and so you ask yourself. But at least there's still uh, players, important players like El Moti is still here. I see Harkas is still here, um, and so there's, there's there's still enough quality. You know, Bora is still here. Uh, you know, I know we've lost uh, Etihad Allah. Uh, Chaparan, which would be a big loss, but but the team is the team is strong still. Um, can it be stronger? Yes. Will it be stronger? Yes. We will work day and night to try to do this. But we also understand how difficult it's going to be, and that's the, and that's the most important message. Is we know it's going to be difficult, but we know it's achievable. And so, with a little bit of patience and a bit of time and uh, support, uh, I'm sure we've got the team and. and especially around me. I mean, when I listen to the gentlemen uh, who, who have brought me here, all I hear is ambition. Uh, they want to win, they want, to, they want this club to be successful. And that excites me. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to the challenge. It's going to be a difficult challenge, but it's, it's definitely not an impossible one. Quite a complicated situation that we have here. Uh, I've done quite a lot of research. I've spoken to quite a lot of people, um, and and I and I even said, you know, a lot of people said to me, "Don't go to Wydad. Don't go to Wydad. There's a lot of problems." Uh, 
but I spoke to the board, I spoke to the to the chairman, uh, the president, and uh, I spoke to my agent. Uh, and I know all the mitigating factors that uh, the club faced last season. I know partly uh, why the team finished where it finished. And so to try to address those problems, we're going to have to need uh, a lot of work, a lot of hands on deck, and to, to push ourselves. What excites me is that uh, I think Morocco as a country, I think Widad as a club, including many of the Moroccan clubs, know that the eyes of not just Africa, but of the world are on Morocco because there's FCON that's coming up. There's uh, the Club World Cup that's coming up. There's the World Cup that's coming up. And so I understand that when all the eyes are on Morocco and on the Moroccan clubs, I think all, all of the clubs will try to do the best that they can to represent Moroccan football and, and uh, showcase Moroccan football to be as professional as, as possibly can. And so all the, the issues that have uh, risen in the past, uh, I have been promised by the, the president, whom I get a very, very good feeling from, is that those are issues of the past and these are now times where we're going to transition. Uh, we look for change, uh, but at the same time we're excited about the, di the new direction that we are taking. Because they chose me. <laughs> <laughs> They showed, they showed so much interest in me, they were, they were on top of my agent, they were on top of me. Um, one, wise, one wise guy said to me, go where you are loved. And I, I feel loved and appreciated by uh, the Widat fans and, and, and that's why I'm here. I'm not here because, uh, of course, who says no to, to a club like Widat? It's, it's, barely, it's, it's impossible. Um, and the offer was also too good to refuse. So. But I'm happy to be here, and I'm very, I'm very happy. <laughs> yeah.